Hello guys, today we are going to be checking out what's inside or what you get inside a Corsair power supply. This is the specific version of this power supply. And as you can see, we unboxed it the, in the last video. Now we're going to be checking out the more specific scientific stuff you can say, yeah. So this power supply is an 850 watt power supply, which has an 80 plus gold rating. It's really good to have an 80 plus gold rating. I will leave it like this for now, so you can check out what the cables. Okay, first of all, let's start with the cable of here. So you have one PCI cable, an 8 pin to an 8 pin, which can be as a 6 pin. Now this is a CPU cable. Here you get another. Let's check what's this out. Why you can't like um, yeah, it's a PCI cable too, which. Uh, you put an 8 pin on the power supply and it can in turn to two 8 pins which is really nice if you run out of cables or you just want to run one cable so you get an 8 pin to an 8 pin here which I believe is for the CPU yeah it's for the CPU you get this 6 pin to Molex which is rare to use nowadays obviously the 24 pin from the motherboard let's put it here and another SATA to 6 pin and another one which is really nice to have okay so another thing in the power supply you get actually some zip ties to tie the cables down and the screws for the power supply which is really nice to have this is the safety and compliance information guide and it's simple stuff it's just this telling you what's important stuff like that and yeah only one page the other are other languages in the box there is a humidity control which is good and yeah these are the cables that you get and the most important cable of all is this cable as you can see it's very different than the others you can see this is like mud and stuff like that this is way more flexible this is a he pretty heavy cable to be honest here you can see it. two 8 pins to one 12 pin high power which this version is the 300 watt version of this cable really nice and the quality is impressive okay so what you can see on the box behind the box you can see it says some efficiency and fan noise levels at what power usage so if you draw less than 170 watts the power supply won't even have uh, the fan turned on which is really impressive and this power supply is very silent it has a zero rpm mode and what most importantly is rated at cybernetics gold and a minus at acoustics which is really really good and uh, that means the power supply is at very high quality here you can see you can have a 100 volts to 240 volts from 75 uh, to 47 to 63 hertz that means a lot because the power supply has really good capacitors and it's a very well built power supply you can say so this is the power supply as you can see it looks really nice it's very high quality and it's pretty heavy i can say this is from the back side of the power supply you can see some specs here these are the power connectors and of course the front which there is the fan you can see inside it looks very very good quality very high quality and it smells really nice too actually and here is the back where you put the power inside and your switch which is really satisfying as you might have seen from my shorts. Okay guys, this is the video. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, another thing, very important. As you can see, there are some motherboards which support an 8-pin for the CPU, like this one, but they uh, can support another 4-pin. And if you want to use the 4-pin, as you can see here, we didn't have any 4-pins. So, as you can check out, there is a cable, I believe, yes. 
this cable you can deattach it so you can have four pins two four pins which is very important because i was looking for power supply which has a four pin too and this solved a lot of issues so if you have any questions comment them down below i will answer with a video